Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. The other day I went down my local music shop because a friend of mine asked me to go and find him a guitar. Now, I've always been a bit of a guitar snob and I'm not proud of it, but personally, if I was looking for a guitar like this, it would have to say Gibson on the headstock. A friend of mine had a budget and in the second hand department of this particular guitar shop, which is Guitar Guitar in Epsom, they had this Epiphone dot, which is basically an Epiphone's version of a 335. While I was there, I tried out this guitar and also myself, I'm looking for a 335. I'm looking for a proper Gibson 335. So we pulled one of the custom shop 335s off the wall and I had this guitar and that guitar and I was comparing the two. And I can honestly say that this guitar was a better guitar. Now that might sound a bit of a tall order because this guitar retails, I think for about 500 pounds, something like that. While the Gibson custom shop, I think is about four and a half thousand. So there's a massive difference in price point. The thing that I've been really impressed with with this guitar is the clarity of the pickups. So let's try a couple of different sounds and I'll go through some overdrive sounds and some clean sounds. So that's a bridge pickup, middle. and neck. Just sounds great. When I'm buying guitars, the first thing that I like to do is to try them out acoustically, just to see how resonant they are. Now, obviously this is gonna be slightly skewed because it's got F holes, it's, it's a semi-hollow guitar, so it's gonna be a slightly different sound to, you know, say like a solid body guitar, and it's gonna be more resonant. So this guitar just rings. It's it's quite amazing actually how much the whole guitar is vibrating, which is something that you don't normally get on a cheaper guitar. Middle position. and neck. So it's a really balanced sounding guitar. The next thing that I was really impressed with was not only the setup of this guitar, as that was obviously done in the shop, but the actual quality of the build of this guitar. My Gibson Les Paul over there is a fantastic sounding Les Paul, but it's a Gibson custom shop, so it costs a lot of money, but there are some flaws on the finishing of that guitar. Now this Epiphone Dot has been finished to absolute perfection. There is not anything that I could fault with this guitar. The frets are absolutely perfect. All of the finishing is perfect. The binding is absolutely fantastic. And personally, I can't understand how they can make a guitar this good for so cheap.
So what I'm going to do in this video is to go through some of the different sounds on this guitar. I'm going to use some clean sounds and some overdriven sounds. Just so you know, I'm using the blue guitar amp one for this video and a couple of pedals. I think I'm using a tube screamer and a Boss Super Overdrive. This is basically the same construction as a 335, as I said. We've got twin humbucker pickups, the standard sort of Gibson, control knobs, two volumes, two tones, and the three-way toggle switch. So that's it for me. I am no longer a guitar snob. After playing this, which I'm absolutely blown away with, I can't believe that a guitar that basically costs, oh my gosh, it's about, about a sixth of the price of a proper 335 can actually play and sound this good. So anyway, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from The Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.